In this video, I'm going to do an unboxing and review for the XTU J10 doorbell camera. Let's open the box and put it to the test. So the price is $55 at the time of this recording with 30% discount. And this is the camera. It's a little bit plasticky feeling. I can see a button down here so people can ring and there is a microphone in here and we have a motion sensor here and we have a camera up here. On the back we only have the mount. On the right side we have a USB-C port for charging the battery and underneath that we have a slot for micro SD card. And it also comes with the unit for indoor that you can hear the ring. On the left side we have the ring button, we have the volume and also the settings. And on the back we have a place for putting the batteries. There is no battery included in the package but we also get the cable and the tool tools for the installation. Now I'm going to install the app so we can check the features before I install it on the door. Okay so they have also a subscription plan and it's going to be three dollar per month and we're going to get 30 days storage on the cloud and no time limit on recordings and we have a play control options with this subscription and there's a four dollar per month that we get ai features as well i mean i'm not going to sign up for it now but that's okay let's see what we can get for free if you buy this camera without anything extra so i have the live feed of the camera and the quality is pretty much as expected I see like good colors and it's pretty seamless, very fluent without any issues. I have option to enable the speaker. Yeah, so you can basically hear what's going on in front of the camera. That's a good option and we can also go into full screen. And we are on the live tab. We can take a screenshot and it records a picture assuming on my phone and second option is intercom so you can talk to the person in front of the doorbell there's a speaker okay that you can hear hello hi so we have a speaker right here so you can talk to people in front of the doorbell and you can hear them on your phone that's a pretty good option very useful and we have original sound what does that mean so you can have like voice effects hello Hi. Hi. My name is Omid. Uh, we have a voice effect for the intercom voice. That's, I think that's a good security function. So we have clown, we have uncle. Let's try the uncle. Hello? How's it going? Hi. So that's like a deep voice and the original sound is without any filters. That's, that's nice. I never seen any uh, company does that but that's cool and we have an option to record the video so let's just record a video and it showed me that we are recording so basically I, I think this one is recording on my phone because I'm using the app and if I go to my gallery the recording here and we have an option to record the video so let's just record a video and it showed me that we are recording and uh, pretty good nothing wrong and the video quality is pretty good i mean it's three megapixel and it's just the quality as i was expecting it's not going to be like super high quality image that's decent that's enough for the function of this device and uh, it actually recorded with the audio uh, that's good next option we have the motion detection so we have a motion detection sensor we can we need to enable it so i'm going to enable it we have a detection sensitivity, we are on tree, and we have a automatic sensitivity correction. So the device corrects itself automatically, that's good, I'm gonna leave it on. We have a humanoid detection, so basically it's gonna give me, if it detects humans, it's gonna show me, a, I don't know, an alarm for humans. Day and night, we can set it up. We have a power saving mode, and we have a performance mode. So basically, if you want to uh, increase the longevity of the battery on this device, you can go on power saving or you can go on performance mode. And we have, uh, we have a record time. So we have 10 seconds, 20 seconds, and 30 seconds. So every time it detects a motion, 
how long it's going to record the video. I'm going to go with 20 seconds because sometimes it takes a little bit of time for it to start recording. So I want to have a longer time to see what's going on. And we have an alert plan. You can add the time period. So it will actually, I guess you can uh, set a time for it's not going to bug you or alert you in those times. That's what I'm assuming, a start time, end time, and the days. And we have a humanoid alarm area. Add an area, basically, that I think the people are gonna walk and stuff like that. I'm not gonna activate it now, but we have that option. And that's the motion detection, it's working. So it gave me a couple of alarms about the detection so let's just click on one to see what's happening all right so when you click on the notification it takes you to, to the notification area and it just says motion detected and, if, and i can't play it so it will show me the video that it recorded during that time and that's in the history tab and it failed to show me the video oh no it's actually playing so it's just showing the de what is detected, that's cool. So we know what happened, when, when it happened, and what day was it, that's pretty cool. It just sometimes takes a little bit of time to connect to the device. Okay, so we checked the motion detection, now we have a siren. So siren, I see that in a lot of cameras these days. Let's try it to see if it's loud enough. Okay, that's good, I mean, that's louder than other uh, cameras, security cameras that I tried before. It's quite loud and that's a good thing. And before we move on, we have an option for the video feedbacks and we have an auto. We have a SD and we have a QHD. So SD is low quality video and we have a QHD which is high quality video so it's going to be the maximum quality that this camera can produce so i'm just going to leave it at uh, qhd just for the sake of this video we're going to see the maximum quality and still very fluent very seamless without any issues so i'm going to move it now we have a second page oh we have the album so everything you record is going to be in the album we have the picture that we recorded and we also have the video we recorded all right, so you don't really have to go to your gallery. You can have it here in the album section. And next up we have a history. So it's gonna give us a calendar. So let's see just today, I just installed it today. And I can see it recorded like one, two, three, four, five uh, motion detection. And I can basically go in the timeline and see what happened during that time because it's recorded and I can check it out. That's pretty cool, I like that. So I can see what's going on, when it happened and what happened. We have the alert, so it just show me all of the detections and it just says motion detection. I'm not sure if it's gonna say like human detected, pet detected, stuff like that. Uh, let's see what's gonna happen. And we have a screenshot again, we can do the screenshot in the history tab as well. We can do the record as well. We have the download. Okay, so whatever the camera records on the motion detection side, we can download it on our phone so we don't have to take out the SD card and uh, it just make it super easy. That's pretty cool. We can download it on our phone. And we also have the option to delete. So all videos of the selected date will be deleted. So everything in that date will be deleted. We have that option. Next page, we have the album again. Let's move on to the cloud. So for the cloud, you need to sign up for a subscription and that's when you get the AI features for like human detection and stuff like that. And uh, in case your camera got stolen when something happens, you ha still have the videos backed up on the cloud storage. I mean, that's a really good security feature. If you really need it, you can sign up. It's like $3 a month, uh, but I haven't done that because I just wanna see what we can get for free. And we can go to the setting. We have a receive alert notification. So sometimes the, you get a lot of alerts. You can turn it off here. And we also have alarm management. Basically same thing as motion detection that we already checked. And we have a image settings. So we have an option for night vision and we have an option for anti-flickering. So if there's a light in front of the camera that is like flickering, 
you can do 50 or 60 hertz depends on the that light it should be like a fluorescent light if that's an issue and we have a night vision mode okay so we actually have a infrared lights in here um, i don't see any infrared though and we have a day mode so it's stream only in color so day mode basically it's all in color and it's not going to switch to infrared light which is a black and white and night mode is only black and white so let me just try a night mode to see it's a little bit laggy right now since i switched to the infrared light so it does have an infrared light and as you can see that's the infrared light it's just one light i'm not sure if it's going to be enough but we're going to test it out during the night just to make sure everything is working smooth and as desired so stop recording i'm just going to start recording i'm not sure if it's going to be enough but we're going to test it out during the night when the video was lagging the video recorded is actually lagging so i'm going to check it later on when i install it on a stationary position to see if it's working or not but i didn't know we have a night vision that's good that we have i'm going to put it back on auto pretty much auto is the best setting for the night and day uh, security cameras or doorbells because when it gets darker it will automatically switch to the infrared so that's that and we have a device share okay another useful function for this camera so you can share it with other people it could be like your security manager your wife uh, i don't know your child your, your kids and stuff like that you can share it so they could have access to this camera as well and we have a chime settings okay so the pairing process is done the light is blue on the chime and it's working so every time i press we're gonna hear the chime as well so let's see what the chime does i have the volume control three uh, settings for the volume this is the maximum and we can actually change the chime as well You basically have like uh, four or five different chimes and it works fine so you can just leave it indoors i just like uh, i wish it has like a sticker or, or anything you just leave it somewhere but it doesn't really hook anywhere so that's the thing we have a voice message i don't know what that does so we can actually record the voicemail hello what is your name and what are you doing here so i'm pressing the button and he actually asked me to answer the call or reject the call or send a message let me do oh i can select the voice me a message here hello what is your name and what are you doing here ah that's a really good function i like that this is a really cool function so you can record different voice messages here and if you don't want to answer right away you can select one of these voice messages that's pretty cool that's awesome that's that's great and uh, next up we have an AI intelligent analysis so we can actually select between different uh, choices so we have people pet vehicle package so to use a smart push you need to purchase a smart services and one thing I noticed when you install it on the door you can actually rotate it left and right so you don't necessarily have to install it on the door and it's just going to face forward it's going to rotate left and right on this mount very easily which is a, a really huge plus and we can link it to uh, amazon alexa and also link it to google home so you can have access to your uh, doorbell on your google home page as well and that's a setting that's pretty much everything we could do with this phone uh, with this doorbell and everything works fine so far i'm gonna install it on the door test it for a uh, day night and i will be back with the full review and my thoughts about this purchase and this device just make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel because i don't have any sponsors and i do these honest reviews only for you as you can see the doorbell is installed it's super easy i just uh, use the adhesive tape and it's very firm it's not going to move and i get a notification on my phone that somebody's at the door and i can't answer the call 
Hello? Okay, so I've been testing this doorbell for the past 24 hours and I have good news and I have bad news. So as far as the video quality, uh, the video is decent. I mean, it's like three megapixel camera, but it's decent for this price, for this uh, quality. It's not gonna be an issue. Everything, you can really notice what's going on. It's not really blurry or anything. Image is sharp but it might be a little bit low quality, but it's fine for this price range. And also the video quality during the night is good as well. I didn't expect that small infrared light is gonna illuminate the whole scene, but it does and everything is fine. There's no issue with the black and white footage at night as well. But uh, the thing is, it also has a color night vision. So when it's not too dark, it's still gonna capture with the color vision. But if it gets a little bit darker, it's going to switch to the infrared light. And like I said, the video quality is good, decent, and everything works fine. And as far as the audio quality, audio quality is fine. I tested in the studio and also tested when I installed it on the door. Uh, you can hear everything fine. Uh, the quality of the speaker and the microphone is good. So there's no issue there. And also I tested the siren on the outside. Still, we have a good speaker on the doorbell, so the siren works fine as well. Let's talk about the motion sensor. So motion sensor works fine for the most parts, but what I noticed, uh, there's a, like a couple of seconds lag when the camera or the doorbell detects a motion and it's gonna boot up the device and start recording. So if you're gonna miss a, around four to five seconds of footage, that's very normal in this price range because the hardware on these devices are, are not really powerful uh, in like high levels. And uh, another issue that I encountered was the camera sometimes is buggy and lagging. I think that's a software issue. Uh, it's not about the camera. So when I was like, uh, when it starts recording at the first couple of seconds, it's just lagging. So it's gonna stop record, stop record. But uh, maybe they can fix it in the future with the software update. When we go to the history, but sometimes if I wanna check the history and I wanna go to that specific time, it will take a little bit of time just to load that data. Sometimes it might take a while just to load that video file and it's gonna buffer. I mean, that's kind of expected because these cameras are not really very powerful. So it might take some time just to load from the SD card and transfer it through the Wi-Fi. That might be annoying at some time, but that's okay. And one other issue that I encountered is sometimes the camera lose connection. From time to time, it's not very common, but it happens. But in the future updates, they might fix those issues as well. Yeah, like, like you see, I have problem just loading the timeline and it's just got disconnected and I have to try again, but it's not gonna work. So I have to go back and open the camera again. And that's one of the glitches that I noticed during the usage of this camera. And here we have somebody crossed in front of the camera, but we missed the first couple of seconds that the person was actually in front of the camera and we just saw the back of the head. And that could be an issue because we're gonna miss some of the footage, but it's fine for me because at this price range, that's very normal. Every other security camera that I tested is the same at this price point. And also recording the video is super easy on this camera. But one other thing that I noticed when I record the video and I step in front of the camera and it detects a motion, so it's gonna record the motion and I'm also recording the video on my phone it's gonna be interfering with the system and it's gonna be a lot more laggy because it has to do two jobs at the same time. So the hardware is not really powerful and it's gonna be a little bit laggy. Also, when somebody rings the door, you can answer the call very easy. You just get a notification, you click on it, you can answer, talk to the person and the communication is easy, super fast and without the issue. So that's pretty much what I could say about this doorbell. For this price of $57 at the time of this recording, I guess that's pretty decent. So you get very good uh, doorbell with like a lot of functions with good quality, decent quality. But you have to deal with some bugs here and there, which is not a major issue. 
so far it's good but hopefully if they update the software in the future we're gonna get rid of all of those bugs as well please let me know if you have any question about this doorbell i will answer them in the comment section to the best of my knowledge and thanks for watching make sure to like this video and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video